So you're proud of yourself? You're happy? What is there not to be proud of? What have I done wrong? Will you be happy when you dismember with your bomb hundreds of your fellow countrymen? Not my people, not my country. They've never accepted us here and they never will. They are happy to see us fail at school, no one can. Happy if we sold drugs, happy if we sold cars. You know, you were born in Australia. Whether you like it or not, this country is your home and you've had every opportunity to succeed and to practice Islam if you want to. No one's stopping you and, and if you were in whatever country you think is yours, I'd probably be torturing you. You want to torture me, is that what you're saying? You had every opportunity to earn an honest living and you and be successful and you chose the criminal path. Bullshit. Because it was easier. Bullshit. Look at your mum and dad. They came out with a lot less than you and succeeded without resorting to crime. And you were still here. You had every opportunity they had. My dad doesn't understand. He was a slave to paying off a house. My duty in life isn't to pay off a mortgage. My duty is to fight against the injustice of the West who are killing my brothers and sisters. What justice was ever perpetrated against you? Who has stopped you from practicing Islam? Who's persecuting you for being Muslim? You've got more freedom than you would in Lebanon, Egypt, Saudi Arabia. These people that you call my countrymen, they don't respect me. They look down on me. And yet they're the ones whose lives are consumed by sex, alcohol, drugs, chasing material wealth. Their national day, Anzac Day, is a day in which they celebrate the invasion of a Muslim country in a war that results in the colonization and occupation of Islamic lands. Britain, France, Australia celebrate that. Anzac Day, you know. We stood at school, right? Under the Aussie flag. Mourning the death of Christian soldiers who invaded and slaughtered hundreds and thousands of Muslims. They had no business being there. We must bring the bloodshed to them, and they will see. Okay, cut. Very good. So now, this last paragraph ends it, though. You know, the more reasonable you sound, more dangerous is this is this. These people who call my countrymen, they don't respect me. They look down on me. Yet they're the ones whose lives are consumed by sex, alcohol, drugs, chasing material wealth. And the National Day, Anzac Day, is a day in which they celebrate the invasion of a Muslim country in a war that resulted in the colonization and occupation of Islamic lands. France, Australia, celebrate that. Hands out there, you know. Just at the school, right? Under the Aussie flag. Mourning the death of Christian soldiers who invaded and slaughtered hundreds and thousands of Muslims. They had no business being there. Let's bring the bloodshed to them, and they will see. How was that? How'd that feel? It felt really negative. Yeah, it did. Yeah. From where you I felt like I related to it more than usual. Yeah. Like, more than usual. Yeah.